Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you some super easy on trend DIY back to school organization ideas. So let's get started with the Copper Study Organizer Caddy. So all you will need for this is some kind of caddy or basket that's big enough to store all your school and study supplies in. I found this one from Wilco, which I'll put a link to down below. You'll also need some copper spray paint to spray your caddy with, but you can use whatever colour you like to match your theme. So all you're going to do is coat the caddy in your chosen spray paint colour, and I used about three coats in the end to cover this properly. Once you've finished, allow your caddy to dry overnight and you're good to go storing all your study essentials together in this on-trend basket that's also portable too. Next up we have the mason jar pen holder. So you will need a medium sized mason jar, some white and copper acrylic paint and two pieces of sponge to apply the paint with too. So first off you're going to remove the lid from your jar as you won't be needing this part. Then with your chosen first colour you're going to start dabbing this on at the bottom of the jar. So I'm starting with the copper shade and I did about two coats to cover this evenly. Next I'm going in with the white at the top and again I'm doing two coats of this as well. Then as my sponge got a little bit drier, that's when I started to merge the two colours together to create that nice gradient effect. And you can just keep going over this until you're happy with it. And it should look something like this once it's dried overnight, and then you can store all your essential pens and pencils in it. So next up we have the copper glitter paper clip holder. So you will need an empty medium sized candle jar. I will put a link down below on how to depot the remaining wax from the jar. You'll also need some PVA glue, a paintbrush and some copper glitter or whatever chosen colour glitter you would like. First off you're going to remove the lid and put the glass container to one side. Then taking the lid, apply a generous amount of PVA glue all over and then sprinkle with your chosen colour of glitter, making sure you've covered it evenly. Then shake off the excess and allow to dry overnight and you can always add a top layer of glue to seal in the glitter too. Then once you've finished, you have this cute jar to store all your clips in so that they're easy to see when you need one. So last but not least, we have the marble and copper post-it holder. So you'll need a small gift box. You can find these in any card shop or in a supermarket in the card section as well. You'll also need some marble sticky back plastic, some copper duct tape, some scissors and a pencil. For the outside of the box I'm going to use the marble sticky back plastic. So firstly cut a large piece of the plastic to fit the box making sure you have enough for the sides and a little for inside the top edges of the box too. Next taking your pencil draw around the box in the middle of the plastic so you know where to cut. When you're happy with the position of the box, you can start cutting in up to the pencil line only at each corner. Once you're done cutting, remove the box and start peeling the paper off the sticky, long ways first. Next, stick your box into place and start folding up the sides so they hug the box. Then taking your scissors, cut a slit at each corner so you can fold the plastic in neatly. To finish, peel down the sides and fold the box over long ways onto the sticky. And then taking each side, cut again so you've got a neat edge to fold inside the box. To 
To cover the inside of the box, cut a piece of duct tape to size and start sticking this down, making sure you've covered the entire box. I recommend doing this in sections, so starting with the long sides first, then finishing with the main part of the box, making sure you've covered and pressed everything down neatly. If you do have some excess hanging over the top, you can always just trim this down neatly as well. Now I did find this duct tape quite fiddly to stick down, so if you do have trouble, you could also use some thinner tape like washi tape instead. So once you've covered the inside of the box as well, it should look something like this. And you're going to do the same again with the lid, so covering it with the marble on top and then the copper inside. Then once you're finished, you can store all your post-it notes in one place so you don't lose them and they're easy to reach for when you need them. Then you can store everything you need in your caddy, so your notebooks, your pens, your paper clips and your post-it notes. And also, I love this caddy because it's portable too, so you can take it anywhere you need to study. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope this inspired you to get back to school and study ready. Give this video a thumbs up if it did inspire you to make some of these ideas. And also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration. And if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a lovely weekend guys and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!